everybody welcome to my channel i appreciate you stopping by and i want to just show you right now um, a, a fun project that i finished using um, a, a printable kit from sweet pea curiosities marissa she has beautiful um, printable kits that make um, projects so so fun and i'm part of her design team and this is a project that i did for her design team so let's take a look it is the um, printable kit uh, called Blue Fantasy in her shop and I believe she's offering 10% off right now so you might want to run over and check her out I'll link her shop below so we'll start with this little dangle how cute is this and of course I had to use a blue bulb pin because it kind of is in with the theme of the actual project it's an altered file folder I didn't use all of the kit I used most of the kit there was quite a few to it so well because it's not a very big journal um, where I built a spine or anything I had to kind of limit how much I could use but um, yeah it's a beautiful beautiful kit this this piece here is not from the kit but well this library card the rest of it is I made a little pocket in the back and I tucked some leftover tabs and whatnot from her kit and this is a big journaling card took a, a printable sheet and I just cut it down I corner I used my corner punch to make a cute journaling card so that tucks in the front of this file folder as you can see um, it has a, a pocket in the front a pocket in the inside a pocket at the back and on the inside back so I love to use file folders many 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 of us like to use file folders there's so many tutorials on different ones but um yeah so anyhow this is the kit so look how beautiful it just all went together so so beautifully so this nice large journaling card fits there and this little tag um, fits in there like that and open it up and I apologize for the shadows as you can see there's many shadows in this video but here is just part of the printable kit. I cut down to size. I made some pretty pockets and I did a little belly band for extra tags that are also part of the kit. And this is a, just a coffee dyed page. I did some sewing around it for a large journaling spot. But you can see the middle of the file folder. I used a piece of the printable kit. It's just beautiful. Look at the florals, just lovely. And this is a journaling card, uh, sorry, a journaling pocket tuck. I'll use it for that. And there's some vintage lace trim on the pages. I used uh, a Greek book for some of the um, layering and the texturing and some old um, graph paper or ledger paper. And I can't remember who these um, word fetty cards are from. But, I, hmm, yeah, I can't remember. I'll try to link it at the bottom. And this is just a stacked envelope using her printable. Look how vibrant these colors are. I did some sloppy sewing using my machine for these journaling cards. And this is the middle. Nope, nope, it's not the middle. That's the middle. Okay, so here's some journaling spots. Sometimes I like to use just pieces of old paper. Um... And then you can do, I can do all kinds of layering on it. Be creative as, as possible. And these are cute pockets and a couple of the tags that go with the kit and some fun fabric tabs that I had laying around. And I did some, some cute sewing across the top of the tabs or tags. And this is a belly band, a side belly band. You can see how um, dark I coffee dyed the pages. I don't usually, but I guess I just used extra strong coffee. And here's a nice large tag. This was just a big, a big eight by 11 sheet and I cut it down. You can do all kinds of things with printable sheets. You don't have to leave them the same size as they get printed, you can cut them into different shapes and use them for all kinds of fun things like pockets and whatnot. And here's the 
They've got the inside of the back and a mother little journaling card with a belly band. I used pieces of her, her pages just to cover some of the inside flaps and coffee dyed sheet with all the threads still hanging around just for some fun. And this is the back. So it's not a it's not an in-depth project, it just was fun and that's what it's all about having projects that we do and we and we have fun doing them um i normally i've been going through a phase of making large journals so this was a treat it was a nice a nice simpler project to tackle so i want to show you what i'm going to do with this now i have a plan for it so i'm going to tie it back up some of you will remember um I guess in my last couple videos ago, I showed you a, a journal I made um, using fabrics and applique and whatnot for the cover, for my, my first time using that type of material and whatnot. And that's the journal that this is gonna go in. I decided to keep it. I liked it too much, so I'm gonna put this dangle back on. Of course, because dangles just add that special extra little touch on any project. Come on, get in there. Okay, here we go. There, so that's the project. Thank you to Marissa for sending me the digital kit. It was a lot of fun and um, being a part of her design team is nothing but a pleasure. So this is the journal that I'm keeping and I am going to put it between the second and third signature, and you'll see how beautiful this fits. I'm not gonna do it completely. Normally I would open this up and then I would feed it through the, the twine bind, but I'll do that later, not on camera. And you can just see how beautiful this fits. It fits perfectly. It's a nice little uh, middle of the journal feature with lots more journaling spots to add to um, this journal that already has tons of, of things to add. This is going to be um, a well-used journal. I will definitely use it. Um, so anyways, thank you for stopping by. I just wanted to do a quick little show and tell of what I finished as far as this particular project. And again, I will, I will um, link Marissa's shop down below. I hope you at least go visit her shop. You won't be disappointed. She's fabulous. She makes great, beautiful, really beautiful digital kits. And they're lots of fun to use. So thanks everybody for popping by. And I'm sorry I haven't been around very much. I've just been a little bit busy these days. So thanks for sticking around. I really appreciate all of you. I hope to see you soon. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye for now.